The Prince of Thailand recently launched his new YouTube channel, Bam House, where we learned about his love for cats and a passion to brew his own beer. Nicknamed Bam Bam, Kun Pi Muk, Bumakul is a massively successful Thai rapper and singer known for his amazing dancing skills and wildly loved for his witty humor. Come along to catch the story of Bam Bam's life. Bam Bam was born on the 2nd of May 1997 in Bangkok, Thailand, and lovingly nicknamed after Bam Bam Rubble from the Flintstones. Bam Bam is the third of four children with two elder brothers, Beer and Bank, and a younger sister, Baby. The oldest brother, Beer, is a marketing graduate and has made Bam Bam a dotting uncle already. Bank is a talented dancer and works as a choreographer and instructor in Thailand. The kid of the family, Baby, graduated from the Suvarna Bumi campus of the Assumption University of Thailand in December 2021 and is now a global influencer. Their mother, Kocha Korn Bukawul, single-handedly raised them after having lost her husband when Bam Bam was just three years old. As a major fan of Rain, she is the reason Bam Bam developed an interest in the Korean entertainment industry, as he accompanied her to multiple concerts as a child. As humble as Bam Bam is, he always gets emotional while talking talking about his mother's role in his life and how he wishes to give back to her for all the troubles she went through raising four children on her own. Inspired to learn dance when he was 10, Bam Bam joined the dance crew Lisa Cool, where he met Lalisa Monobal, who grew up to be Blackpink's very own Lisa. Recalling his childhood, he says despite their conditions not being all that great, his mother made sure he never misses his dance sessions because she knew his passion. This paid off when Bam Bam passed JYP Entertainment's audition in Thailand in 2010 and moved to Seoul for his idol training when he was just 13. After about three years of training, Bam Bam debuted with JYP Entertainment's boy group GOT7 in 2014. He recently revealed that the final year of his training was possibly the toughest, since he wasn't included in the debut lineup even with just about six months before his contract expired. In fact, GOT7 was actually named GOT6 at the time and a twist of fate caused Bam Bam to fill in for an injured trainee on the survival show Win Who Is Next in 2013. Given a chance to perform, Bam Bam's dance did their rest and he was selected to debut with the then GOT6 to create the GOT7 we know and love. Through his work for GOT7, Bam Bam has multiple lyricist credits to his name since 2015. Additionally, he also hosted Mnet's M Countdown for roughly a year in 2015 with fellow GOT7 member Jin Young and Shiny's Key. In 2019, Bam Bam featured on Thai rapper F Hero's album Into the New Era, leading to composing and singing his first OST in the Thai movie The Con Hardest in 2020. Bam Bam and GOT7 left JYP Entertainment at the end of their contract in 2021 and each joined an agency best suited for their future, with Bam Bam signing exclusively with Abyss Company. Going solo, he released his first EP titled Ribbon. As a pre-release for his second EP, Bam Bam collaborated with Red Velvet Sulgi on Who Are You? With a music video depicting beautiful mirror dance moves, its dance challenge was quickly taken up by numerous idols. In January 2022, Bam Bam released his second EP titled B, including lead single Slow Mo. Proving that GOT7 has not disbanded, they made a beautiful comeback as a self-owned group in May 2022 with an EP reminiscently titled GOT7, which went on to top the iTunes album charts in 83 countries. It was a successful full group comeback even after each member focused on their solo activities for a year. As for 2023, Bam Bam has already teased a big thing on the way for GOT7. Bam Bam's bond with the members of his group can best be defined as brotherly. As much as he respects and supports each of them, he enjoys teasing them too much. The most memorable incidents are when he hilariously took to his social media to react to the kissing scenes in the dramas of fellow members Jin Young and Young Jae. Apart from his members, Bam Bam has multiple friends in the K-pop industry. Additionally, much to the delight of multiple fandoms, he is even part of not just one but two well-known idol friendship groups. 
While many countries are represented in the ever-growing K-pop scene, we've been seeing a steady stream of blossoming Thai idols. Speaking to a magazine in 2019 about his friendship with the other Thai idols in the industry, Bam Bam mentioned that he maintains a close friendship with them and even revealed that they have a group chat. To nobody's surprise, this group obviously includes Blackpink's Lisa given her longtime friendship with Bam Bam, in addition to NCT's 10 and CLC's Sorn. The most recent meetup Bam Bam had was with Sorn in January 2023 at the reopening of a gentle monster store in Singapore. Additionally, Bam Bam is close with 2PM's Nichkun as well, and respects him too for having paved the way for Thai idols in the K-pop world, and he has also befriended G-Idol's Thai member Mini. Another famous friendship group is that of the idols born in the year 1997. This group consists of BTS's Jungkook, Seventeen's DK, V8, and Mingyu, Astro's Cha Yun Woo, and NCT's Jaehyun, in addition to GOT 7's youngest members, Bam Bam and Yu Gyeom. Rumored to have begun with Jungkook's friendship with Yu Gyeom, this boy squad is extremely private, and hence we usually just get crumbs for content from them. Incidents that fans remember well include the first time the existence of such a group was revealed by Bam Bam by posting a group selfie on his Instagram back in 2016. In 2017, Jungkook expressed his gratitude to his 97-liner friend group in BTS's album You Never Walk Alone. More recently, he also attended Seventeen's concert in Seoul in 2022, after which we were blessed with a backstage photo. Hailed as a prince of Thailand, Bam Bam's popularity in his home country has no limits. He has admitted himself that while it is possible for him to sometimes roam around unnoticed in South Korea, it is the complete opposite in Thailand. Additionally, he also endorses Thailand's main telecom brand, AIS, with Lisa. His picture is plastered in ads all over Thailand from airports to street signs and hoardings. In 2020, Bam Bam was chosen to be the ambassador for the simulation game The Sims 4. As part of its promotion, he streamed himself playing the game, leading to several cute moments shared with the fans. In Thailand, apart from BK Drinks, Bam Bam has also recently been picked to be the platform partner for RS Group's cryptocurrency, Popcoin. Bam Bam launched his first limited edition clothing line, Double B, with Represent in 2017, the proceeds of which were transferred to Water.org, a non-profit organization that provides access to safe drinking water. Part of his second clothing line with Charms in 2021 was donated to support low-income children. Since 2019, he has also been a spokesperson for UNICEF Thailand. In 2021, when Bam Bam took to Twitter to support his favorite NBA player Stephen Curry, little did he know that he would be made the global ambassador for Curry's team, the Golden State Warriors. He even debuted a new song, Wheels Up, featuring rapper Mazin in 2022 during the halftime of a Warriors home game in San Francisco. He also partnered with them on limited edition merchandise of the team. This global superstar is said to be earning upwards of 10 million US dollars every year owing to all of his music and endorsement obligations. Apart from his beautiful house that we got to see in the variety show Master in the House and also in his YouTube channel Bum House, one might wonder where would he be spending all that money. When he appeared on the P6 show, he revealed one truly expensive habit of his. He said that whenever he attains a goal he had thought of, he always invests in a good watch and hence bought his first Rolex after placing first at a music show for the first time and then bought one from Audemars Piguet after his first world tour. True to himself and his humble beginnings, he jokingly ended this anecdote by saying that he can earn a lot of money by selling all of his watches if he ever went bankrupt. Now that is never going to happen, Bam Bam, so don't you worry. With most members of GOT7 busy with their own solo activities, one can only wonder what big thing Bam Bam has hinted at. While we wait for that, we are also looking forward to hearing more of his own music as well. Till then, in true Bam Bam style, skirt skirt. Catch me.